this week was big. Um, their ends were, uh, we knew that they crashed and that they were going to try to stop the run. So, you know, it was in our game plan that, you know, we were going to read the backside end. And if he wanted to get on the get in on the run game, then um, it was my job to pull and make some plays happen. What's it feel like to be back in the black rushing? Oh, it's awesome. Yeah, it feels good. That was, you know, much needed this game. So did y'all really talk about that or was coach just, just joking and busting on us? Oh he said that y'all were open with that and said that you were in the in the red numbers, negative numbers and wanted to get you in the black. Oh no, I think he's joking about that. But uh yeah, um that was uh, definitely, you know, was in the game plan. Was um, tonight was going to be a big rushing night for me. Um, uh, just seeing off film what they did, um, and our coach did a great job game planning for that. What's it, what does it feel like to have the productivity <clears throat> you had tonight? Six, six completions, three touchdowns. Uh, awesome. You know, it was one of those nights where um, we knew how they played. We knew that we were going to take a lot of uh, deep shots. Um, probably completion. Percentage-wise, wasn't you know all there because we were taking so many big shots. But we knew that um, that was important with their team. The way they did things, they played a lot of man. Um, so we were um, going to do a lot of play-action pass and try to hit them long. So um, that was great. You know, when you get six passes complete and three of them are touchdowns, you know that's a pretty good night. Believe it was Northwestern State two weeks ago when you just missed Carlos. Kind of a same similar situation. How good was that for you? In him, just to, for him to be able to haul it in, confidence for both y'all going forward. Oh, that's big, um, and that's something that we've been working on in practice. Um, Carlos has been improving tremendously as a football player, and really just understanding the game. Um, the kid has, you know, made leaps in in just the film room. Um, understanding his job, what he needs to do on certain plays, and that's the biggest thing for him because um, the kid has all the athletic ability in the world. Is it almost a surprise if he doesn't break a big play off one of his touches? Uh, yeah, it's surprising. I mean, he's one of those guys that even in practice, you know, you throw him the ball, he's, he's the vertical threat, and um, he makes plays happen, you know, in practice. And you can tell, you know, on the field, you know, he's a, he's a playmaker. So we like getting the ball into that guy's hands. Talk about his speed and compare it to what you've seen in the, in the other places you've been. Is it, is it elite? Where, where's his yeah. speed rank? Yeah, I believe, you know, he's got elite speed. He's got one, he's got one of those special... Uh, you know, ability to run. And, you know, you just got to, with someone like that, and um, you just got to get him the ball. He's a playmaker um, on our offense, and, you know, he really stretches the field for us. So uh, defense has got to really prepare and really be aware of where he is on the field. How grateful as a quarterback are you of the defense for, for setting you up pretty much the entire night? Not you, but the, setting up the offense the entire night with some of those short fields and a lot of those interceptions that you're able to turn into points? Yeah, you know, those guys have been doing a great job um, all year. Uh, Coach Diaz has been, you know, great. And those guys, you know, they, they work their butts off um, on the defensive side of the ball, and they take pride in what they do. And, you know, I'm proud of them tonight. They did, they did a great job of creating turnovers. That's a team that coming in, they only had one turnover. Um, they controlled the game clock. We knew that as an offense that we were only going to get limited touches. Um, and I believe we only had three in the first half. Um, and uh, when your defense can go out and do that and turn the, get, get turnovers like that, um, it makes it so much easier as an offense. So we were standing up here, <clears throat> standing up here two weeks ago after the Northwestern State loss. You know, everyone was down and whatnot. Two weeks later, the 2-0 in conference heading into the bye. What, what's the morale? What do you think in the locker room? You know, I wouldn't say that um, we needed that loss, um, but we needed a little bit, I think, as a team. Um, it was huge for us uh, going to this week, understanding how mentally prepared we needed to be. Um, I think before that, we kind of relaxed a day ago on the mental side of the game. Um, and we went out there and just kind of played. But I know credit to all of our guys um, this week really got in um, to the film room and did a great job mentally preparing for this game. And I think it showed out there. Um, but you know that's something that uh, going forward, we need to do for every single game and uh, not take anything lightly because, you know, we really only have one shot at this. And, you know, we got a, a lot of conference games coming up that we need to win. Is this one of those games as leaders y'all can say, look, if we play, this is our potential. If we do this, look at what the end result can be. Yeah, and I think it shows. I think it shows against um, everyone, really. You know, uh, we pretty much play ourselves and we hurt ourselves. Um, 
And, you know, when we go out there and we execute and we do the little things right, um, you know, it's, it's great. You know, we, we score points. We put up a lot of points, and our defense does a great job um, helping us out. So I think that going forward, uh, we just need to keep, um, keep with this mentality um, that we have right now. And uh, I think our morale's up. Um, we're excited. Uh, we're a team that plays with a lot of passion. And, you know, you know I love our guys.